It's bourbon night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Sarah, what do we got? We got barrel bourbon. Barrel bourbon. So what do we know about it? Um, we know that this is a blend of um, their batch 12. This is batch 14, actually. Um, so the basis for this batch was some remnants of their batch 12 bourbon, along with some nine-year-old bourbons and uh, some 14-year-old higher rye bourbons. Huh. Um, coming to us from Tennessee and Kentucky. Tennessee and Kentucky. Being assembled, Frankenstein together here in Kentucky. This is from Harrodsburg, Kentucky, so I assume that's where they do this Frankensteining. Hmm. Um, it's, it's alive. It's alive. <laughs> this is 109.4 proof. Nine years old. Yes. Yeah, this is, uh, as you said, cast strength uh, batch 14. If you care, it's bottle number 6,613. So there you go. <laughs> Um, but it's um, doing a little bit of reading about them. They said that they try to make each bottle different and unique and sort of to a different flavor profile. So if, wait for it. <laughs> so if you don't like this one, maybe you'll like the next one. Okay. Can he do it? Uh, oh. Wow, that is in there. Okay. So yeah, and I've never had one of these before. I've never, I had a bottle. Well, we have a, a, a New Year's bottle I last year. I mixed reviews on that one. First bottle that Maybe we've owned. Maybe we'll do it for New Year's. For New Year's, how about that? That'd Sounds be like fun. a good idea, right? Mm -hmm. So let's uh, let's see what's going on. Ooh, well, that's a, very wood for Yeah, that is an inviting, interesting nose. It smells like walking into a log cabin, or actually into a rickhouse. With someone who just warmed up some syrup. It is a little syrupy. It's got some sweetness in there. Yeah. But it's mm. not a lot. It's a little, it's very faint. It's one of those Rick houses where they're also hanging some country ham. <laughs> so you're getting like a blow of the sweetness Wait, of which the one of this? country ham. Where was this that you were when they were doing this? Where was that? I want to say it was... Uh, oh, it's a real place? Yeah. With the country ham? Yeah. What? They cure them, or you know, is that what it called? Yeah, what cure it. Called? I guess. Uh, yeah. Uh, Age it. I want to say wild turkey, maybe. That's insane. Or or Jim Beam. Oh, I bet it's Jim Beam because they do all the barbecuing and the meats. Or both. Or I mean, both. they're both really good friends, Fred No and uh, Jimmy and Eddie Russell. So. You know what? Now that you said country ham, I can smell like the saltiness of the ham, <laughs> and the savoriness in here. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, the saltiness <sighs> of the country ham. With Syrup warming on the windowsill, uh, and yes, wood, wood of a rick house or rack yeah. house, whichever you prefer. Whatever you call it. I have an itch. I can't get rid of it. <sighs> well, maybe this will help. Maybe. Cheers. Woo! Hey yo! Ah! Ah! Oh! Water make you breathe easier. And you taste the wood too. <laughs> it's wood forward. It is. It's good. I like. Um, I like the amount of heat it's bringing. Uh -huh. With the proof, it feels right. It's smooth though, too. Yeah, I'm still getting the finish. I would call it a medium to long finish. And I love how you just dive in for your second. Well, I'm so close to putting my finger on some different notes and I feel like if I wait too long, I'm gonna lose You're gonna it. You're gonna lose it. The finish is nice and long. Just kind of as you expect with like a, a, a more woody, barrel-y mm. bourbon. I like it. It's got the kind of the the dark chocolate mm -hmm. type of There's my hug. Finish. <laughs> That's what I was really after. The hug. I just needed a hug today. Mm -hmm. Aww. And don't you even comment saying, oh, I'll give you a hug. Give You're you. not here. Hey, I got your hug right here. Oh my gosh. That's what I don't want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is similar to some things that we've had before. It's not unlike maybe a Four Roses. There is some plum on the front part of it. Plum. Plum. I'm plum surprised in that. I used to love plums when I was little and I, it's like got this crispness of biting into a plum. But then it goes very wood and on the finish I do get some, a little bit of chocolatey, but mostly I almost get this like mouth watering feel like when you eat country ham and it's salty and your mouth waters. Are you saying it's savory? Kind of, not so much the taste, more of the, mouth experience like mouth experience you know like when you eat something salty and your mouth waters for a good mouth experience call don't say that 
<laughs> and don't you put my number out there either. Um, <clears throat> no, it's good. I like... That makes sense. I really get the plum on the beginning now. Well, if we're talking about fruit, I kind of get some apple peel. I'm not partial to plums, so I don't eat them when I... I, I don't eat them. I really get it on the beginning, because I think it's like a darker fruit. Hmm. But you, you're not a big... He's a very particular when it comes to his fruits. He'll only allow a few. Plum, plum, plum. I'm trying to think of plum butter. That's about as close as a plum as I'll get. What's plum? I don't even know. Plum butter? I've never had that. It's like apple butter? Well, I know what apple butter is, but it's a completely different type of fruit, so I don't know how you can make a butter out Plum of it. Plum butter. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna have to try that. I'm really digging the flavors on this. It's actually kind of refreshing and different from, I don't know, I feel like a lot of what we've been having lately. I've never said plum before. See, I get less of a chocolate finish than you do, I think. Like mine, instead of going down into a deep dark chocolate, like I get a little bit of chocolate, but it's mostly like a little bit of spicier notes. So it kind of goes yeah, up. I, I, well, I was gonna say, I think the spiciness, um, almost there's like a little bit of cinnamon in the very beginning, but then that barrel really takes over, I feel like. I, I feel like the barrel takes over and then there's some like- Afterthought? After spice, like, uh, oh. After spice, after burners. After Oh. <laughs> okay. You're like, hmm, plum. Ooh, barrel. Um, and then up. A spice. A spice? Mm -hmm. Question mark? Question and mark? then finish. Yeah, I could see like a, a it's like the three swizzle acts stick of, of, you know, a sp uh, what do you call it? Sw spice stick. A cinnamon stick? Cinnamon stick. <laughs> Thank you. Oof. A swizzle stick. A swizzle stick of spice. A stick. Otherwise known as? Cinnamon stick. Cinnamon stick. At the, <laughs> yeah, at the end. Kind of getting that. But again, like you can, you, something you you bite and break off, like brittle. That's where I'm getting that chocolate note, but also the spicy that you're talking about. Yeah, I think I'm digging it. I get a little bit of both of those things at it. the end. Not neither of them is like, whoa, I'm here. They're just very subtle. Okay, we're gonna. It's over 100, so we're gonna we're gonna see how some water reacts to it. Okay. So we're gonna put. Uh, let's do about seven drops. And we'll let it mingle for a minute. We're gonna let it mingle, so we'll be back to you right after these messages. So yeah, how about those patrons, right? Those on patreons. Patreon.com, they're great. They're if it great. for them, we <laughs> wouldn't. Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. <laughs> we wanted to take this moment to express our gratitude and appreciation for our patrons. Yes, thank you so much. It's because of you that we have this bottle. Absolutely. And many others. And this is a bottle that's going in our barrel proof flight fight, so it's gonna get double duty. So double thank you for that. As you can see down here, the names are scrolling by for our uh, drinking buddies, our inner circles, our regulars, bourbon knights, everybody here. So thank you for any and all levels uh, that you are in. If you would like to become a patron, what, 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 what can they do? Well, you can visit patreon.com slash it's bourbon night. Um, check out our levels on the side, uh, you know, peruse, just see if anything strikes your fancy. And you know, if you wanna contribute a little bit for a short amount of time or a lot of bit for a long amount of time or some mixture of those things, we don't care. We're just happy to have you here and we appreciate every little bit helps. It all goes back into the show. Which goes back into our bellies. <laughs> yeah, yes, and, and into your eyeballs and your earballs. And hopefully you buy what we're drinking and you know, so on. Drink along with us, yes, it's community. All right, well, <laughs> thank you to our patrons. Uh, and now, back to this after we it doing. has mingled with the water. Yes. And we're back! That's never gonna get old. No, never. <laughs> so, yeah, we've let this uh, mingle and marry water. We did seven drops. Now we're going to see what a little bit of water did this 109.4 proofer. Can I just say I like this bottle? Yeah. I normally feel like either bottles are like rounded or they have sharp edges, but this one, I don't know. Something about it. feel It's different. It it, I like it. Yeah. Oh, it opened brought, up the brought nose. Out, brought out the syrup, the sweetness. The syrup is very yeah. forward now. Wow. Like put this on some pancakes. Yeah. Syrup. Wow. I would put this on pancakes. I would bourbon for breakfast, right? Yeah. You could mix this into your syrup. Mmm, a little mm. boozy syrup, how about it? <gasps> Did I just come up with a restaurant concept called boozy syrup? <laughs> boozy syrup. I'll make you breakfast. Your nickname would be syrup, and people would call you boozy syrup. Because you'd, be bo <laughs> you'd be boozing. Oh, that's just old boozy old syrup. Old boozy syrup, there she goes. <laughs> what can I get for you, sweetheart? And all of a sudden I'm old. <laughs> if you want to donate to I my get? breakfast fund. Boy, <laughs> yeah. Honey. All of a sudden, sugar. That's how it always goes. All right. Woo! 
You know what? I think that made it a little hotter. Um, but it also shortened the finish. I'm already on the downhill. Yeah. You, well, you, yeah, you get to the cinnamon note a lot faster. You get to the cinnamon a lot faster. I don't know if I'd say it's I lost the plum. hotter, but... Well, okay, it tickled my tongue more. Tickled your tongue. It was like... Tip of the tongue, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I'd probably say... Well, let me get a second sip here. Well, Luke is going back before me now. <laughs> I'm kind of sad that the plum's gone. I liked that. Well, I was going to say, I think I'm... I would vote sans water. This, just, you know, just neat. But, I don't know. That's the thing about water. You could double that amount of water and you'll get some other notes out of it and you might enjoy it. If I, I wish I had had it with water first, honestly, because mm -hmm. I actually like this. It is syrupy, it's yeah. caramely, mm -hmm. it's still got some nice heat to it. There's a little cinnamon on the end, but it, it really, the barrel notes are still there, but it really, really took those down, um, which I think is awesome for people who aren't loving the 109 proof like this is something I think will hold up with some water and still give you a good amount of flavor um, and some kick so anti McDonald's the I'm not loving it <laughs> what oh you yeah. said who's not loving it oh who's not loving it yeah, yeah. anti McDonald's um, <laughs> personally I prefer it again without the water like you said but it's nice to have the choice with something like this that you're gonna spend uh, a moderate amount of money on to well, be able to ha have it how you want it. It's Burger talk, King, have it your way. Have it your way. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, so let's talk about price because we need to figure that in if we're going to recommend this or not. Uh, we got this for around 65 And where did the... Well, I don't remember where we got this from. Total wine and more. Okay, so it, total wine tends to be cheaper than everywhere else. So 65 at total wine probably means the low 70s somewhere else. Uh, I think I've seen it for 80. And each batch is a limited edition. So yeah. batch 14 is batch 14 and you won't get it again. But we saw, what do we see? 13, 13 14, 14, and 15. 15. We picked 14 because it was the highest, highest proof. proof. And this is going to be going into our barrel proof. No, actually, I think 13 was a little bit higher proof, but it was younger. It was younger. This guy we picked to go into our barrel proof. Barrel proof flight. Uh, one day I'll be able to say it right. Mm -mm. <laughs> um, nope. And you know, I I don't know. We'll see how it does. Well, let's talk about recommend or not. You know, sixty-five bucks. That's not chump change. No. Uh, but it is a nine-year good tasting, one hundred nine proofer. It's just tough for me when I know we can get Weller one hundred seven for <laughs> like forty dollars. But or less. can we go out and get it no, right now? No, we can't go out and get it yeah, right now. Yeah. I mean. Oh, what, what could you put it up against? A $40 rare breed. Ooh. You know, yeah. Well, that's not fair to it. <laughs> you know, $25 less. Comparisons aside, I think this is a solid bourbon. I like the flavors. I think it's a great proof. Overall, it's really getting a thumbs up for me on taste. Um, when you compare it to other things that are available around the same proof, around the same age. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. It, I mean, there are definitely some great offerings out there that are lower priced and the same or higher proof. Mm -hmm. And it is a tough one. But it's also not the most expensive. There's other things that are high proof that are even more expensive. Yeah. Um, <sighs> I have to recommend it for the flavor. Yes. I have to. Flavor, recommend. Price. Price. If you got it, go for it. <laughs> I mean. If you're more thrifty, you need to stretch your bourbon bucks maybe go with something else. How about that? Yeah. Okay. I agree. Cool. Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. You can also hit that bell notification to know when we come out with our bi-weekly episodes. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> we already talked about Patreon in the break, uh, but we do have an Amazon influencers page, do mm -hmm. we not? Yes, we do. It's amazon.com slash shop slash it's bourbon night. And you can get these lovely Tribeca glasses there as well as some other fun odds and ends. I yeah. think there's some candles on there, some drying racks, yep. some other fun things. Stuff um, that we use for our bourbon nights. And then you can follow us on all of our social media channels at it's bourbon night. That is correct. And that's normally your line. So well, now that's you fine. Don't, he doesn't know what to do now. I'm stalling. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, cool. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay. Until next time, drink more bourbon. Oh, I thought you were about to box me like old school. <laughs> like, put him up. Oh, <laughs> Pepper, your corn. <laughs> 
I don't know. Oh. 